CataractCoach.com, quiz time. Why did this corneal edema develop? The cornea was totally clear on post-op day one, but then cloudy on post-op day eight. His pre-op dense cataracts in both eyes are moderate nuclear density. Certainly the patient has real cataracts in both eyes. Let's show you the surgery. So doing surgery on this eye is like the patient's left eye, and it's a routine case. And I've sped the video up at three times normal speed, but I want to show you the whole video just so you know what's going on here. Don't worry, it'll only take a couple of minutes here. It'll be fast. So there's the main incision made of the diamond keratome. All looks good, right? Get our rexes done. Very nicely done. We'll get a nice round rexes. Patient has some degree of um, some mild macular degeneration. It's going to limit the vision in the post-op period. And in addition, the patient is currently myopic. We're going to keep the patient myopic. There's the nucleus out of the capsule bag. You can see pretty reasonable density there. So it kind of matches that pre-op picture. Take a probe and chopper going inside the eye, chop that nucleus in half. You can see it splits pretty easily. Chop off smaller pieces as well, and we'll emulsify that down. So again, your, the challenge here is what your quiz is, why is this patient going to develop corneal edema for? So let's watch the technique here. So I'm doing a good job with the technique. We're not operating up on the cornea. Cornea looks okay. Operating here, nice kind of low iris plane, partially in the bag. Emulsify the pieces, good chops, good... You know, sub chops there, you break this cat into small little pieces. Again, another chop. So technique looks pretty good. So that's probably not the issue, but why is the issue? And the patient never had coronal edema prior to this, but now the patient has coronal edema. Again, clear on post-op day one, and I'll show you that, but some coronal edema post-op day eight. So, okay, we'll clean out the cataract pieces. That looks pretty good. Oh, there's a little last fragment. And now time for cortex removal. Eye probe going inside the eye. Again, using a 2.2 FACO incision, 2.2 IA sleeve t uh, as well here. Nice and small, keep everything very conservative. Cleaning up that bag, bag looks great. Cortex is removed, there's the viscoelastic. Let's see, get that lens in, and here's the lens. Single piece acrylic lens, looks like um, that's gone beautifully in the capsule bag. Maybe a torque lens as, too, as well. You see torque markings on the eye wall optic itself, so go behind here and move that viscoelastic. Again, it's a pretty normal case, right? Watch carefully. I think you'll agree it's pretty normal. Nice, really nice looking result. I mean, the result is textbook pretty. So sealed up incisions. Look at that Rex, it's beautiful. Lens is definitely in the bag. Here comes some tramcinolone, some antibiotics, some myostat. Eye looks great. All right, so I'm happy. So let's take a look at the patient. Post-op day one. There's both eyes. The left eye there is on the... The right side of your screen as if the patient's looking at me. So that looks normal, clear cornea. Everything that looks great. Patient's happy, vision's good. Comes back a week later, the right eye still looks fine, which is on the left side of your screen. And then the left eye, which is on your uh, right-hand side, you can see there's some cloudiness there of the cornea. Some haze from the central cornea all the way down to that inferior limbus. Let me zoom in here and show you here. A couple days later, even more. So I put the patient on stronger steroids, stronger NSAIDs. And what is the issue here? Well, let's go back to the OR. So this patient now goes back to the OR. And you can see there's the patient on the table. And we're going to look for what's happening here. So what do you think is going on? I think you may have said retained lens fragment. This patient has a retained lens fragment. Let me show you. That retained lens fragment sitting in the inferior angle right now, and that's causing all that corneal edema. So it's going down there, and the key is that corneal edema was from the center all the way out to the periphery of the cornea, all the way to the inferior um, aspect where the cornea meets the conjunctiva there. And so once the, once that piece comes out, boy, it's going to make your life a lot easier. You'll be able to really control and quell any post-op inflammation that's going on in the eye here. So certainly a retained lens fragment, you know what, it's a common complication. Happens to 100% of cataract surgeons. You, 100% of cataract surgeons are going to get a retained lens fragment. And now, don't worry, we can fix it if you find that lens fragment. In this case, it required using a gonio mirror on the eye to look into the inferior angle. And lo and behold, there's a piece there. So you can see in the video, in the second one, that's been flushed out of the eye, which was great. And now a suture can be placed just for safety's sake to seal up that main incision, and the patient will have a very nice outcome. So again, sealing everything up, making sure it looks good, 
And then the corneal edema should resolve pretty nicely, especially because you don't have that inflammatory um, component due to the lens material inside the eye. So looking great, they're passing these sutures and burying them. And then let's take a look here post-op. So now post-op looks great. You can see now both eyes are back to being totally clear, nice clear corneas. That looks beautiful, finally. And again, not all cases of retained lens fragments are like this patient. This is another patient that we saw outside of the clinic. This is at our county hospital facility. And if you look at that dense cataract, that's a large piece, but look at that. That was inadvertently left in the eye. So sometimes these things can hide in the angle of the eye. They can hide in the capsule bag fornix, and you may not even see them until post-op day one. And that's okay. Again, retain lens fragments, something to think about if your patient has post-op coronal edema that uh, especially goes to the limbus and wasn't there initially. And then remember, 100% surgeons, including you and me both, at some point in our careers, we get patients with retained lens fragments. Fortunately, it's an easy fix. Thanks for watching.